NFL star player Chandler Jones went live on social media earlier today amid his ongoing dispute with the Las Vegas Raiders and the NFL star displayed a wide range of emotions over the span of 25 minutes at one point, breaking down in tears over his former teammate Aaron Hernandez. This was the video. Wait, they don't know what happened with Aaron Hernandez and Josh McDaniels. All right, y'all. Y'all thought Chico killed himself in jail? Y'all thought my nigga Chico killed himself in jail? Oh. <laughs> oh. The two-time All-Pro defensive and who is currently on the non-football illness list went on Instagram Live sitting by a fire at his Nevada residence on Thursday, interacting with his followers as he discussed a number of topics. The 33-year-old player stated multiple times he is sane and wants to continue his career with the Raiders. At one point during the live, Chandler Jones discussed knowing government secrets from the Illuminati to ISIS. He also made several disturbing statements about members of the NFL, including Raiders coach Josh McDaniels, and team owner McDavis. He also had an exchange with a neighbor stating he's trying to protect the community and inviting the person over for gumbo. In the final minutes of the stream, Chandler Jones break down in tears insinuating that Josh McDaniels had something to do with Aaron Hernandez's death. Chandler Jones became visibly emotional about the subject but did not elaborate on his claims before ending the stream. This comes days after he claims he was forced into a mental hospital last week and injected with a foreign substance. According to him, it all happened after authorities told him people were concerned about him because of his post online. The past Russia says he was first taken to Southern Hills Hospital before he was transported to the Seven Hills Behavioral Health Hospital, a treatment facility for those struggling with mental health issues. In a very detailed message, he claims they tried to force him to take meds and injections during his time at the facility. He also said his first night, he slept on the floor and was not offered a bed, adding that he's still confused on what he did wrong, and claims he was stuck there, but he's very sane. In his notes, he claims he tried to contact the Raiders for help, but he's yet to hear back. So yeah, I don't know what's going on. I pray for the man and his family. Now let me know what you think in the comments down below.